Hi, this is Sean Craig, and we're back at Pack Expo. Today, we're going to talk to talk with Reiny Shabel and Nelson Baumgartner. Reiny is the Sultan of Slitting, and Nelson Baumgartner is, uh, represents Nelco Canada, uh, Maxis International District Manager Canada. And uh, gentlemen, what what is the fundamental difference between shear and crush and, and razor slitting, and how is that applied with various materials in the industry? That's a question that we often face with folks who are trying to get into slitting, but you really don't have a good understanding of what the, the essential differences are. Uh, crush slitting is like a pizza cutter. It crushes the product in compressive stress. Nelson, of course, is the advocate of shear slitting. He sells shear slitting around the country. It's primarily in the paper mill industry. And crush cutting is just not applicable in the high speeds of paper mill especially in the label press and in the converting in uh, for the pressure sensitive, where it affects the oozing of the glue on the side and the cracking of the sheet, and that affects ultimately the end of the, the pretty end of it and the end result. The slit quality is really pretty bad. We can demonstrate that to compare here. We've got a uh, crush cutter on this uh, knife holder, and this is sort of like a pizza cutter and it cuts the material by compressive stress. And if I run my finger along here, it feels kind of ragged, kind of like a little miniature sawtooth. Whereas when we go over here with shear slitting, this is kind of like a pair of scissors. It's a rotary scissors effect. And the, the quality of the slit is considerably better. Which, uh, Nelson, if you were in a newsprint industry, which one of these slits would they rather have? Well, obviously the shear slitting. It's a much cleaner, smoother cut. And I think you could demonstrate it a bit more if you tried the crush type of maybe three or four layers. And uh, you could see ultimately the results versus the crush. And we'll just rotate bring the blade down. Oh, I think I better bring the blade down. Sorry about that. Rotate this. There you go. Okay. And if you bring it up. See the results there? It didn't it make a full cut through. It didn't make a full cut. Rotary I'm, shear. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I'd have to there. increase the air pressure to, to get through that bundle, which means then that the stress on the steel gets pretty high and the steel breaks down pretty fast. And on the rotary shear, as you can see, it cut the three, four layer quite nicely. And on plastic film, it's the same thing. Here's some polypropylene film. If I were to use a crush cutting for this thing, it will cut, but again, the, the slit quality is going to be rather poor. This, uh, If we looked at it under a microscope, we'd find that we got little flakes of plastic uh, polypropylene film on that. And the shear slits just as well also. Let me get that, Mr. Shable. Thank you, thank you, kind sir. Uh, it'll slit equally well, apparent equally well. But when we look at the, the quality of the slit, we'll see that the shear slit is considerably better. If I tried to use a razor to slit the polypropylene film, then the effect is to want to create a, a, a notch effect and the film wants to split apart. And, and the problem with that is that polyfilm is really sensitive to notches and it may run away and split out of the the other is the longevity of the blade, I would think, and the results after running a, a, a razor blade. It would have build up on the rolls, concave rolls, correct? And this happens to be clear film. If it happens to be white film, the uh, white titanium filler would eat that razor blade off pretty fast. And it's safe to say that on a rotary shear, we'd probably get 20 more times blade life than we would on a crush. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. Some real advantage. The blade life on this might be in a matter of a day or two, maybe a few hours in some cases. On this arrangement here, these blades last for 10 times, 15 blade times. All right. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. There you have it. Another example of some of the technology that's been exhib exhibited at PAC Expo. And we'll stay, stick around and we'll take a look at some of the more exciting exhibits in this show, in our booth, as well as other exhibitors. Thanks. As well as